the PINN News, the only news you need. We do your thinking for you so you don't have to. Jay Scott reporting. Miracles! Ain't they great? Congress has agreed to stop the government shutdown, move back from the cliff of default, and make sure they don't lose their medical coverage. Good thinking. Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who led the stand to defund Obamacare as part of the deal, seems to have lost this round. We asked for reaction from other Republican senators on Cruz's efforts, and they were happy to tell us what they think. Ooh, looks like cruise control failed on that flight. Do you remember to celebrate October 15th? Sesame Street Magazine says it was National Grouch Day, a day for all grouches to celebrate their way of life. Sesame Street Magazine says a grouch's mission in life is to be as miserable and grouchy as possible and pass that feeling on to everyone else. Only then will a grouch feel in touch with his or her world and be happy. PINN News slept on its grouch face and went looking for the best grouches around. We didn't have to go far because we have cable TV. Oh, Bubba Blowhard Grouch. He's a winner. Sad Sack Sam Grouch. Commander in Chief Grouch. And, of course, the biggest grouch of all. And that's the kind of grouch we love at PINN News. A new Gallup poll shows 60% of Americans think the Democratic and Republican parties have done a bad job representing the people during the shutdown. Now they think a third party is needed. PINN agrees that Americans need a lot more diversity. After all, how many times can you watch a train wreck and not close your eyes? Uh, we polled the average American on just what parties they could endorse. Well, of course, the Tea Party. Oh, here's a popular one, the 1990 party. Well, oh, even Miley Cyrus has a new party. Instead of work, they just want to, well, twerk. <laughs> oh, I didn't think that was going to work out. PINN News wasn't there, but got the official rumor on a walkout at the White House. Turns out it was a Fox News reporter. A correspondent, Ed Henry, walked out of the White House press briefing after being ignored by spokesman Jay Carney. Now, Henry tried asking a question twice, but Carney called on other people instead. Now, after the first time, Henry could be seen shaking his head and muttering. After the second time, Henry angrily got up and left the room. PINN News caught up with Ed later in the hallway for his reaction. Watch this. PINN thinks his diaper was wet or something. Associated Press is reporting an alleged pirate kingpin has been arrested in a Hollywood-style sting that lured him from Somalia to Belgium to work on a fake documentary. Instead of a Hollywood ending, he got arrested when he landed. We sure do need to rid the world of pirates. PINN News got a candid snapshot of the Pirate King just before he was hauled off to the People's Court. Look at that! Well, yo ho ho and a million fake friends is his motto. That's this edition of the PINN News live from tape. Jay Scott reporting. <laughs>